Stranger Things 2. Questions viewers are dying to have answered in Season 3. With many having already gone on a monstrous binge watching of the entirety of Stranger Things 2 on Netflix as soon as it was released, there are some questions that viewers are still anxious to have answered, having been left with many mysteries at the end of Season 2. Will Season 3 of Stranger Things reveal these answers? Just in case you're wondering if there will be a Season 3 of Stranger Things, you can rest assured that there will be, as executive producer Dan Cohen has already spoken about the next season of the show at the premiere of Stranger Things 2, according to TV Guide. We talked about different ways that the season could end. There were other ways we could have ended beyond that, but I think that was a very strong lyrical ending and it really lets us decide to focus where we ultimately are going to want to go as we dive into Season 3. One of the biggest questions fans of Stranger Things 2 have is whether the character of Dr. Martin Brenner, played by Matthew Modern, is still amongst the living. At the end of the first season of the show, we saw Brenner up against an angry Demogorgon, ostensibly to be killed, yet season 2 cast serious doubts on this. We watched in Stranger Things 2 as Elle met Carly, another special girl who shares similar abilities and who was given the name of an important Hindu goddess. We discover Carly is after revenge for all of those who made her suffer at Hawkins' lab and tries to enlist the help of Elle in tracking them down. Because of Carly, viewers were able to witness Elle finally meeting Ray Carroll, the man who had delivered such intense electroshock therapy to Elle's mother that he destroyed her completely. Under the tutelage of Carly, Elle works on channeling her anger at those who worked at the Hawkins lab and upon finally meeting Ray delivers invisible blows to him, choking him repeatedly with her powers while he attempts to save himself by explaining that Dr. Martin Brenner is indeed still alive and that he will take her to him if she spares him. Season 3 of Stranger Things will hopefully elucidate further on the fate of Dr. Brenner. Elle may have closed the gate to the shadow monster in Stranger Things 2, but does this mean it's going to stay closed for good? Furthermore, it is clear at the end of the season that the shadow monster is not destroyed and is still lurking, with the many demodogs, as Dustin insists they must be called. And will this shadow monster continue to wreak havoc on the life of Will and his family? He's escaped from its clutches for now, but for how long? The shadow monster bears a strong resemblance to both an industrial-sized mutant spider and also to one of the sculptures created by Dominique Gonzalez first for her installation in the Turbine Hall at the Tate Modern in London in 2008, which was called DH. 2058. Here we saw row upon row of bunk beds with books like J. G. Ballads the drowned world chained to them and various films played in the background in her view of a futuristic dystopian world. Was Dart really attached to Dustin in Stranger Things 2 or was it simply his love of the three musketeers candy bars that made him overlook everyone escaping from his lair at the end? Will Dart return in season 3? When we saw Hopper just barely escape from the Upside Down at the end of the season, some viewers may have asked themselves whether he could also undergo the same fate as Will and be terrorized by the Shadow Monster in the next season. Will he escape from its clutches and be free in the future? Stranger Things 2 has left viewers excited for more and with so many questions left unanswered, fans are already eagerly anticipating Season 3 and the answers and closure it may bring with it.